Lady and gentlemen, like the title of the video says, I am getting bigger for a role in a movie. This seems like a very lofty type of project, but it is something that I have personally worked on for the past four years. And the director of this film has been working on for almost a decade. You know, it's been an idea for him and then he had a script and now we are pretty much set to shoot in late February. As you can see here, there's a, a little bit of a before and after. Uh, I'm still growing. I'm still eating more calories and doing a lot more hypertrophy training. It's been fun, but it's been really tough. I, I don't think I've ever really done this, uh, this style of training. I've always trained just for strength. And then when I wanted to get bigger, I just ate a ton and I kind of got fat. So if you're interested in what I've been doing, I can go more in depth with that on another video. But the purpose of this video is to show you guys, one, the uh, what we call a WeFunder. Now, this is a fund that we've built uh, for the feature film. This is not a donation-based fund. This is a investment. So if you go to WeFunder.com slash The Weight Movie LLC, you'll see that we have $153,000 raised so far out of $250,000. You'll see under the invest section that there's a revenue participation agreement. 100% of the proceeds are paid to investors pro rata until 125% of the principal investment is returned. Thereafter, investors earn 50% of net profits. This is a custom contract. See document for details. So this is a chance for you guys to invest in the film, have a piece of this film and uh, you know get your money back and make more money. So the video I want to show you guys today is something that the director, Adam Shiner, had come to Austin to shoot. There's an interview section explaining why he had casted me and his thought process behind that. And then after that, we did just a little bit of test footage. Now, some things that I thought were interesting about the test footage were that, you know, the lighting actually made me look pretty big. And, and thinking about where I'm going to be, you know, five months from now, I'm, I'm pretty excited. You'll see there's a shot where like my back is to the camera and it's like I don't even recognize myself. But anyway, without further ado, please check out the WeFunder, wefunder.com slash the weight movie LLC uh, and sit back and enjoy this video. Good. Hurry up, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Cooper Claire, Cooper Claire, get angry. This movie lives and dies with who plays Casey Murray. I kind of recognized I needed to cast a real weightlifter that had the right natural charisma and talent to play this role. And I, you know, stumbled onto some luck when I, you know, reached out to Zach. Just I wasn't reached out to him be an actor. And he, he actually told me he went to film school and wanted to audition. And I was just looking for a spark, something very real and something interesting, and I and I found it. And once you see that, that natural talent that not everybody has that makes you compelled to watch someone and makes them interesting, you, you can make that work. No one's anyone until they're someone. And this is the type of movie where if it's a great movie, we're making a star. The three big things are he's got to look the part. He's got to, more important than that, he's got to, you know, move like an elite wafer moves. And then obviously there is the acting, which it takes years to become a great actor. In the right role, someone like Zach, who's a natural talent for acting, could become great, but you know, it's acting is very different than being a YouTube personality. The best way for him to look like a 109 kilo weightlifter is to be the way 109 kilos. And obviously we don't want that to be fluff. A little weightlifter with Zach's height would be as lean as possible. The challenge is to have him be that weight, but try to get as much of it in, you know, the core things of what you, know, you see in a typical weightlifter, big quads, big back, big traps, big shoulders. That's what Zach's trying to do right now is look the part and do kind of little bodybuilding cosmetic work. And obviously he can't snatch 170 kilos. He can't clean and jerk 200, 210 plus. And even if he could, it'd be very stupid for us to have him doing that. One, he could only probably do it once. And if he misses and he's supposed to make it, we're screwed. The, the challenge here is to make have the weight be real enough that it looks like it's real and challenging. That, you know, when he's snatching, he's catching in the bottom of the hole. When he's cleaning, it's a struggle standing up. It's a struggle when he's, you know, jerks it overhead to kind of stabilize and everything else. That's 
the way 225 looks like normally. That's the way it really oscillates. So we're going to try to mimic that as best as possible. Even exaggerate a little bit more. Does it feel weird? It feels like the same. Yeah. It's weird. I mean, it's moving the same amount. Yeah. And that's a different style of lifting. Like, if it's supposed to be 200 plus kilos and it's actually 145, it's going to move because the way you manipulate the bar oscillation, it was what allows it to make it look like it's real. But it's still 145. It's still a significant, you know, percentage of his best clean and jerk. Um, but it's also going to, he's going to have to adapt to, it's going to be whippier. And that's really the key to selling the weight looking like it's more than it is, is it whips the same. The bar bends the same. But it's, he's going to have to get used to it because 145 is not going to feel like a normal 145. It's going to be whippier than normal. And that's an adjustment. You know, that's a different, like it's funny, but it's like a different style of lifting. I believe Zach has the raw talent. Like I've seen it and that's why I casted him. Um, he doesn't have, you know, we're not gonna make him, he, he needs to be trained, but he's not become a Shakespearean actor. That's not the right way to coach someone like this for this specific role. The way you bring out a great performance is someone like Zach who has that talent there and to get it to the surface you do a couple things. One, you surround him with great veteran actors, like someone like Bill Sage, who has worked with people who were untrained actors before, who really knows how to bring out the performance in them. <laughs> There's a legendary acting coach named Sandy Meisner, and his technique, it really is about, you know, acting is reacting and being alive in the moment. It's, you have to believe, you know, it's one thing to memorize lines. It's another thing to believe what's going on and react in a way that's natural to you and to not move and take your time and do that. So that's where, we, you know, we're going to send Zach to a school probably for six weeks in the Mize, you know, learning the Meisner method of acting. And then on top of that, it's going to be a rehearsal process and living with Bill. There's the ABCs of what he has to do, right? The basic stuff. But ultimately, you're... you're when you cast a person, you're hoping, you don't know what kind of person they are as a human being. And I, from the very beginning, I talked to him about trust. And for this movie to be a success, you know, it was going to be sacrificing a lot, but it was going to have to be a lot of trust between us. And I, I think, earned his trust, you know, early on before that happened. Um, he was there for me. He, and he, he continued to believe me. He checked on me a lot as a person. I don't think a lot of people know that about Zach, is, is what a caring person he was. And that did a couple things. One, it, it earned my trust in him, the fact that he still believed in me and still believed in the project and, and was willing to kind of help me through this. Um, from there, I knew that I cast the right human being.